benefit the egyptian people the president was also clear and has been clear that we are not able to continue with business as usual the sense is belief that the obama administration was supporting the muslim brotherhood and muslim brother people say well they won an election hitler won an election hamas won an election uh... democracy is not about winning an election one time it is about a relationship between uh... the people and the government uh, and Morsi put himself above the judiciary, started stepping on the rights of women. Really, you had 20 million, more than 20 million Egyptians in the streets saying we have to make change. Talking about uh, the former president of Egypt, Mohamed Morsi, uh, the administration tonight saying they are cutting back on uh, a large portion of the aid to Egypt in the wake of the situation on the ground as they try to head towards an election there. But there's been a lot of violence. We're back at the panel. Uh, Charles, what about this in, in the big picture? The big picture is that American allies in the region are simply astonished by what's happening. This is the third in three steps. It starts with Syria. Originally, it's called a war criminal state because of the use of chemical weapons. Secretary of State uh, describes what it did as a moral atrocity, threatens an airstrike, but ends up he's now uh, a legitimate leader with whom we are dealing and who is praised by our Secretary of State yesterday. With the Iranians, we get a few sweet words out of a new president. All of a sudden, we have the first communication. We have an opening of negotiations. The, the Gulf Arabs are in a panic. And now the one state in the region that has gotten rid of the Brotherhood, which was, as we heard just before, essentially attempting an abolition of democracy, uh, we are now cutting aid in a way that is simply... It, it simply does not take into account the perception that the United States is now appeasing our enemies, Syria, Iran, and to some extent the Brotherhood in Egypt, and others, and not understanding the effect it's having on our allies. If you're an ally of the, of the United States now, you're wondering, can we count on anything the Americans are going to do?